Thank you. Hi, I'm so honored to be sharing this time with you. And I would like to know what is your favorite episode and your favorite character and why? Well, I'll, I'll take a stab at that. Uh, I, I liked, uh, there was an episode, I wish I could remember the exact name of it, but it was uh, my mother comes from Mexico and the whole family is concerned about showing her how they've maintained their, their Mexican identity. And uh, they, they want to eat all the Mexican foods and have all of the tradition that they'll think their, their great grandmother will criticize them for not maintaining. And I thought that was a very thoughtful script because the kids, you know, they still like pizza sometimes and they, they do American things. And the grandmothers shares with them. It's not about that. It's about the family that we are and what we, uh, you know, that's the culture. It's not the food and the, th I mean, that, that certainly is part of it, but the script made a point of, of pointing up how the family was the culture that they had to hang on to. I guess that was my favorite a favorite script and I guess I like the Sergio the parrot is the, <laughs> is, uh, the scene stealer is my favorite character yeah that's awesome uh, shall I answer that now too or yeah oh, yes, okay please. um it's hard to pick a favorite episode but uh, you know Sonia as you were talking I mean yeah because there's literally something about every episode that I love uh I'm half Filipino and so to me, you know, there's actually more similarities to Mexican and Filipino culture than uh, differences. So many things come up that I'm like, oh, I, oh yeah, I know that. Oh, I grew up with that. You know, but instead of calling them chanclas, we call them chinelas. Oh, it, yes, it's, it's literally the same, the same yes. thing, you know. But yeah. the episode while you were talking, Sonia, that stood out for me was the one where uh, we the the family discovers a source of tamales that we think is better than than what my mama makes and and we're like oh my gosh we can't let her know and we go through all of these crazy antics and work together as a family to like find these tamales get them but keep it you know keep it from abuela and and then in the end we find out they're actually it's actually her recipe but there's just yeah. something that's so nice about just how the family works together and how much we we love each other and how much we want to respect you know yeah. abuela's you know recipe and so it's that that's my family. daughter's favorite my seven-year-old oh wow he, oh, that's he great. has been telling everybody that about those tamales <laughs> yes, exactly <laughs> yeah thank it's you perfect. and is there any character besides your own that you oh, love? Yeah, yeah, yeah i mean i am biased but i have to say you know it's ronnie ann because to me, you know, she's my, you know, she's my daughter, but I just, I love, I love her moxie, love her sense of adventure. And at the same time, she's, she's so kind and she has such a loving heart. And, you know, as, as a mother myself, I have an eight-year-old son, but like, if you, if you can see that in your child, it's like, you know, that's it. That's what you want. You want a kind, loving uh, child that seeks, seeks adventure in life. I would, it's kind of, like what you were talking about my question is about my grandfather was filipino and my grandmother was dominican so and they are my role models and so how do you think grandparents what what is the role that they play in a kid's life and how have you seen that evolve from your childhood with your grandparents to today wow uh can I just say, my grandmother, my Filipina grandmother, uh, was an actress, and so and and I, my mother specifically, because my, her mom was an actress, she specifically geared me away from being an actress, and it 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 just it couldn't be helped. Like I think it just got passed down. And my, you know, we lived with my grandmother growing up, and I think, you know, she she taught me how to read. She, you know, she she taught me how to enunciate better because I, you know, I had a little bit of a speech impediment when I, when I was, uh, when I was little and she really, you know, you don't realize that at the time, but, you know, we prayed every night together. We, you know, she influenced me and just knowing that she was an actress, even though I never saw her work, but just knowing that she was an actress, like, 
oh, sorry, you hear my son. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's a, it's, it was a huge influence that you don't really, you don't really realize, but it's, I think it's that respect for your elders that kind of seeps through. And unfortunately my mom passed away. So I don't have the, I don't quite have the same in influence from her mm -hmm. to my son. But because of that, I think I do, I do so much more things like, Hey, let's watch this show, like the Casa Grandes, because it's so similar to, you know, how mama grew up and, you know, mm -hmm. things like that and trying to introduce him to as much of my cultural background as I can. And always like, you know, this is how your Lola would do it. Lola is like abuela, wow. in, you know, like, this is how your Lola would do it. And I wouldn't be doing this if your Lola didn't teach me this. And, uh -huh. you know, like that. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. How about you, Sonia? I've I've also lost my mother, but she uh, uh, was around with my daughter, and it was uh, um, she she with all of her grandchildren. They were they were attached at the hip. I mean, she was just with her grandchildren every second, and she really enjoyed their company. I remember once my mother was playing with Gabrielle and my daughter, and Gabby was about. Three three years old and she's she's telling mom stand up sit down stand up sit down and my mother's doing it I said, mom, what are you letting her boss you around and my mother says oh no this is great now I know what it's like to be in the army <laughs> <laughs> so she she had a wonderful sense of humor that you know that she imparted to her grandchildren now her father I only knew from stories she told because he lived in Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and I didn't meet him till I was 14 years old. So I had a fun time uh, reconciling how she described him in both negative and positive ways <laughs> as a dad and the way I finally saw him as a friendly baker who baked he was a great baker mm. uh I, I remember i thought he looked like picasso he was that kind of barrel chested man uh but it's an interesting lineage i i, I didn't get to speak to him he was at that old school where you don't talk to kids too much yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad parents are you know grandparents are not that way anymore that they really do engage with their grandchildren like my mother did yeah Thank you so much. You're welcome. And and thank you for your sharing your stories. I'm sad for your loss. Thank you. <laughs>